Right peeps, well I think it's time for another locomotive review. And I'm actually pretty excited about this one because this is a model that I've been looking forward to for quite some time. Today we're going to be having a look at the Kernair Model Rail Centre exclusive North British D6XX warship diesel locomotive. Now this model arrived to me in the post last week but I've only just got around to taking a look at this model because the reason for doing it is because I was busy with other things so I didn't get the chance to look at it and make a video on it until now and also because my camera battery was being charged up for the weekend because last weekend I went to the Seven Valley Railway Spring Diesel Festival and I wanted to get the footage up of that uploaded on YouTube first before I did a review video and I haven't opened this model up yet and so I am very much excited about this so let's get into it shall we so upon removal of the box lid we can see that the model comes in the plastic ice cube packaging which comes in this foam insert as you can see the box itself is very nice and sturdy and very strong we also have the paperwork here, we have the certificate there's a photograph of the real locomotive there of this particular one and it gives you some brief history of the real locomotive and if you're interested in what number this model is this model is limited edition of 750 and this model is 243 so I'll put that into my folder, I'll keep all my certificates later on then we have the exploded diagram there for the model, as you can see, and we have the instruction manual, which we've all seen before. Then we have the detail pack, which comes in this little plastic case. As you can see, there we have the slim tension lock couplings, and we have some other detail bits in there such as the vacuum pipes and what look like some dummy couplings the chain of couplings that is so I'll get some of those details added on later so upon removal from the multi-closing plastic packaging we can see that this model is D602 Bulldog in the BR Blue livery with the small yellow warning panels which is the one I wanted and this is the model that has the split head co boxes. And I really do love the diesels with the split head co boxes, <laughs> and that's why I wanted this particular version. So, moving on to the detail, as standard with most models, we have some sprung buffers, which these ones are made of plastic. There's an absolute wealth of detail on the body sides, there are lots of rivets. We have glazing in the side windows as well as the doors here which in real life would open up to the engine and of course we've also got all these grills as well we have the BR00 logo crisply printed on the sides of the body and we've also got the nameplates for the loco and these nameplates are actually etched nameplates it's not very often you see a model that already has the etch nameplates fitted on the model because usually you either just get printed nameplates or you have to stick the etch nameplates on yourself so it really is nice that the etch nameplates have already been applied on the model there's also a lot of detail on the bogies as well such as the footstep there and the axle box covers as well as the springs and the speedometer cable I believe that's what that is and of course some rivets as well and there's even some detail on the fuel tank there as well all the windows on this model have got glazing in them particularly with the cab windows the side windows and the front windows 
they've even painted the rims there silver which looks very nice there's also the separately fitted window wipers as well and on the window rims there's even some rivets as well which looks superb and also there is which you can just about see there is some cab interior detail in there as well now Kerno Model Rail Centre really have captured the look of the North British warships superbly especially with the split headco boxes as you can see we've got the train reporting numbers inside them and even the split headco boxes have some very nice separately fitted detailing on them the livery application on this model is superb there's no errors in the paintwork it's a very nice even layer of coat of paint and they've also picked out the correct shade of BR blue as well and it really is a beautiful livery I think especially with the small yellow warning panels and the split head code boxes you know it really does look gorgeous something I've just noticed is that underneath the fuel tank we have these on and off switches the top one there is for the cab lights and the bottom one there is for the red tail lights so that's quite a nice feature that is now I've added some of the detail parts on the model as you can see and these all slotted straight into the holes without any problems at all the screwing coupling here that came from a Batman FNA nuclear fast wagon in the detail pack and so I've glued that on and that's slotted straight into the hole I was expecting to have had to open up the hole a bit but no that glued straight into the hole which is quite nice. We've also removed the NEM socket at the front. So now we come to the running performance for the North British warship and as you can see this is a smooth runner. No horrible grinding noises or the motors burning out or stuttering movement. It's a smooth runner and it runs exactly as it should straight from the box. You can see we've also got working lights on this model as well. The cab interior lights and those two bottom lights down there on the front, as you can just about see. Of course, you have the rear tail lights there as well. So I thought I'd give you a better shot of the lights. So I've turned all the lights off so you can actually see them properly and a bit better. So you are, as you can see, like I said earlier, we have the interior lighting and the lights at the bottom lighting up and also we have the train reporting numbers in the head code boxes there which also do light up. But of course these are directional lights so the interior lights and the lights in the head car boxes they only light up whichever direction the model is setting basically as you can see so now we come to the loaded test run for the North British warship and I've got it pulling the rake of BR blue and grey coaches which they actually do suit the locomotive very well especially being in BR blue and the seven of the coaches here, and as you can see, she can manage them with no problems whatsoever. So what is my overall conclusion then for this model? Well, it's an absolute corker of a model. It really is. These North British warships from Kerr now have been a long time coming, but was the weight worth it? Yes, it was. Definitely worth it. They produced six versions of these models, and I'd highly recommend that you go and buy one. Because for £179, you can't really go wrong. 
and what you see is what you get and you really do get your money's worth out of this model. So that's all we've got time for in today's video peeps. I hope you've enjoyed my review on the Kerno exclusive North British warship. Do check out my other videos and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.